This is Lord Shadrach speaking, and this video is going directly in defense of Phil Robertson. Now, a lot of us have already heard about this Duck Dynasty guy getting chewed out because of his opinion on homosexuality. Well, whether you like it or not, Phil Robertson has a right to his opinion. Even if he does have this sort of attacks that he's been getting right now, hey, you still got to admit and respect the fact that he does have a right to say how he feels. Yes, he has to deal with the attacks, and yes, he has to deal with the consequences, but you can't argue with the fact that he has a right to his opinion. You don't like it? Well, that's fine. You don't have to like what he thinks. You don't have to agree with what he says. If he finds homosexuality to be wrong, based on his religious beliefs, that is what he believes in. And you should respect that, because that's his opinion. Just because you don't like what he says doesn't mean you have a right to censor him. Me? I don't care if people don't agree with me. In fact, that's fine with me. In fact, I remember Edward R. Murrow said of Harold Lasky that Harold Lasky was one of those enlightened individuals that did not insist on agreement with his political views as a precondition for conversation or friendship. The same could be said about me in regards to anything and everything. You don't have to agree with me to like me. You don't have to look eye to eye on the things I, I believe on. You don't have to like the things I even like. I have friends that don't even like the shows I like. I have friends that think the movies I watch are crap. I have friends that think my views are wrong. I have friends that don't even believe in Jesus. I have friends that believe in another God or no God at all. But you know what? I respect their rights to not believe in the same God as me. In a, in a sense, they have a right to their opinion. I may not like it, I may not agree with it, but I respect their decision no matter what. Now, going back to Phil Robertson, he has a right to what he has to say. You know, Annie is all about supporting equal rights and everything, but they're quick to cut this one guy off for saying his opinion. Even still... Phil Robertson is actually a very good person from what I have read and what I have heard of him. He crawled his way out of his childhood poverty. And he noticed that there was a problem with a duck call, so he fixed the problem. He's also a very educated man with a college degree. And you want to call this person all sorts of things like a dirty hillbilly. But here's the thing, he's living a high life based on his inventions and his show and his duck calls while all of the haters out there still live in their flipping little middle-class houses. Now, Charlie Sheen has written something bad about him, and I sent a response to Charlie Sheen telling him to back off, and even tearing his assumptions, Charlie Sheen's that is, to shreds. So what do you got to say about that? I uh, yes, Charlie Sheen was voicing his opinion about it, but so what? I'm voicing my opinion as to why I'm standing with Bill Robertson. I may lose friends over this, I may lose fans over this, and I may probably have some people get on my case about it from, from, from my family, from the side of family that's very liberal, that is. But you know what? Here's the thing. I'm voicing my opinion on the matter, and I'm sticking with Phil Robertson. But even still, Phil Robertson... He's, he notices that there's more important things in life. He's like, you know, I was kicked off a of Duck Dynasty, so what? There's more important things in the world, like the military being denied their benefits, and I'll talk about that in a later video, and, and other things. So you got to respect Phil Robertson. It's a refreshing change to see a God-fearing man in a reality TV show about family than to watch these stupid other reality shows that you see, like of Jersey Shore and Big Brother and Survivor, where there's so much drama and backstabbing and stupidity that it's unbelievable. So I actually applaud Duck Dynasty for going out there and doing something different. And if you don't like the fact that they are a God-fearing family that prays and believes in Jesus and everything else like that, and if you don't like the fact that they're rednecks, that they're showing off a positive image of rednecks and hillbillies all over America, then don't watch the show. Easy is put. Easy is said. Easy said, then, yeah. But you get what I'm trying to say here.
you don't like Duck Dynasty, don't watch it. I'm not even a fan myself. And I'm not a big fan of it. I don't even care for the show. But I'm going to stick by Phil Robertson because he has a right to his opinion. You don't like it, too bad. You have a right not to listen to him. You have a right to ignore him. Quit making a big deal over something he said. He doesn't agree with homosexuality. That's his business. Let him be. What if it were a Muslim that said the same things? Oh, and that's another thing I want to get on. Comparing him to Osama bin Laden is stupid. I don't know about you, but Phil Robertson is not a terrorist. If you could compare, the only reasonable explanations to compare him to Bin Laden is if Phil Robinson crashed planes into buildings, if he killed in anyone with his bare hands or with a gun or anything like that, or if he were wanted by the United States. No, you have no right to call him that, because then you're going from, from the important matter as to him voicing his opinion and you having a right not to agree with him to now attacking the guy directly. For those of you who are comparing Phil Robertson to Osama Bin Laden, you might as well just admit to the world that you've lost by making that comparison. Because it's not a valid argument. It's an ad hominem attack on him. And that is all I have to say about that. You don't like what Phil Robertson has to say, you don't have to watch him, and you don't have to listen to him. Got a problem with Phil Robertson? All the fans of, of Duck Dynasty, and, and myself included, even though I'm not a fan, will come up forward and defend the guy as to why he has a right to his opinion. Don't like it? Too bad. He's got a right to his opinion. That's all 